What's up, y'all? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just jump into another reaction. It's gonna be for the um, compilation of Family Guy, Dark Humor. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and I I've done a couple of Family Guy, um, you know, Try Not To Laughs. And I think that the first one I did was the best one. I think I've done a couple other ones after that, but they're okay. Um, I'm a fan of Dark Humor, but I think that a lot of times Family Guy, um, man, they, they cross the line with the, with the Dark Humor. They kind of go past dark with a lot of their uh, a lot of their their, their uh, scenes or stuff that they say so let's check this out and see if I can uh, make it through without but let's try it without even laughing let's 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 just try and, and and do this try and win not this uh try not to laugh challenge so let's get this started If you or a loved one have been prescribed the drug Luxanol and experienced facial bloating, air leakage, and spontaneous mouth bleeding, you may be entitled to a large cash settlement. Why is there never any programming for me? <laughs> well, Tom, Tom, before you do anything crazy, answer me one question. Why is it I have a house and you have an apartment? Yeah, maybe you should jump. We're done! I've had those locks too. Though. House is also a liquor store. <sighs> Lois, know you're here? No clue. I brought beer. I brought pot. Oh, and now I feel stupid. I brought pot. I brought acid. Oh, and now I feel stupid. I brought crystal meth. I brought ten rounds of chemotherapy. I think we may have gone too far. Now I feel bad for laughing at my dad when he went through this. Howard, I have found you! Yeah! Oh my god, Stuart, you okay? Quick, somebody call an ambulance. This could be stitches. We don't want this to leave a scar. No, there's no time for an ambulance. We gotta take him to the hospital right away. Guys, I'm all right. I think Meg... Oh my god, he's delirious. He's talking nonsense. Quick, everybody in the car! Oh, shoot. That's right. Chris is my new heir. And now to show you my overwhelming love and affection. Okay, that's enough. You're not my wife. Anyway, I want you to have the money. The only person who understands this crazy world, except for maybe Anne way too frank. Dear diary, when this war is over, I'm going to get a cucumber and work it into a pickle. And you can take that to the Bank of Berlin. Good thing no one's ever gonna read this. Look at this 1940s tampon. I know. That dumbness how they used to do it back then. It just sawdust in a burlap sack. I had to jump on it from a second floor window. We'll take it to gross will. Oh, here's me getting my first haircut. Here's me getting my 351st haircut. And here's when I couldn't take no more. I killed that barber. It's weird being here without grandma. I keep thinking she's gonna walk through that door any minute. Well, honey, I, I know, but I'm afraid she's dead. This is real life, not some magical fairy tale. And so, okay, wait, 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 look, 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 look. There's oh, weird. something about death that I didn't tell you before because kids aren't supposed to know about it until they get older. Ooh, an adult secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, when someone dies, uh, they they actually do go somewhere. Uh, uh, heaven. Really? What's it like? Well, first of all, you can have any hairstyle you want instantly. You, you don't have to go through that awkward growing it out phase. You still get to go to the salon? Of course, you have to get it set. And everyone in heaven only speaks English. None of those mumbly, yelly languages. What about clicky, flimmy ones? No, none of those either. And every corner has a fire and ten fire engines putting it out. Do they have a person to ring the bells? No, they need someone to do that. No, oh, that's my thing. All right, here I come. Well, hey, hang on. You, you can't kill yourself, though, because... Because they don't let you in if you do that. And so Brody Jenner's not going to be there. What? He didn't kill himself. He didn't. Oh, no. So he's choosing to live as Brody Jenner? That's sad. That's what I'm, I'm talking glad about. glad everything's back to normal. Peter, your mother's dead. Yeah, but at least she's alive. What are you talking about, Peter? Well, you see, Lois, the key in life is to lie to yourself about reality. Smile through everything. All the bad things, well, you just pile them away in a place that will come back one day in the form of, I don't know, rage? But everything's My fine. God, I'll uh... see you in bed. Chris Riven? 
something because if I don't there's two guys who are gonna tell you anyway I have herpes really yeah well that's okay I mean if we're careful about it it shouldn't be an issue and the truth is I like you so much I'd do anything to make this work oh my god I'm so happy to hear that I, I, it's I, so I funny that you watch this down you know you know I know this is crazy and like super sudden but would you you're gonna die alone you dick she didn't catch the kid I hired to replace Chris. Thank you for wearing the baseball cap forward. I, I know it's uncomfortable for you, but it, it, it really sold it. Hey, Chris, have you seen my frat? I left one in the hallway about an hour ago, and I think I left my keys in it. Was that it? Ah, yes. And the mystery of the missing keys has been solved. Hi, Stewie. I love your house. Where What's that dark humor? They're in the kitchen being groomed by Arnold Schwarzenegger. May I offer you an iced tea? The door. All right. I'm probably better off in my old school anyway. Well, I'm just glad everything's back to normal. We... I know what he was doing, and I don't like it. I think it's fancy guys like you only drink in hotels. The hotel threw me out. I used a mustard bottle to write Dallas Portland's a dick on the wall. Oh, yeah, I did that once at a hotel, but it was pee, and I didn't write anything. <laughs> oh, my God, look, you guys, it's death. Hey, has anyone got a cell phone I can borrow? God's been paging me for like 20 minutes. Would you still use a pager? Yeah, well, we thought once we got Steve Jobs in heaven, we'd all get iPhones, but he never showed up. Wait a minute. You work with God? Oh, well, Jeff, we've been looking all over for that guy. Will you take us to him? Sure, but don't you mean her? <laughs> Look at your faces. Of course it's a dude. Come on, let's go. Well, as I understand it, Daddy's cheer squad had another failed dismount. We know that we are the B.E. Ah! Oh, Brittany, you dumb slut! I said I was gonna cradle out! How did you not hear me? Okay. Again, that was okay. Uh, there were some scenes in it that did make me um, smile. There was probably one or two that made me want to laugh. Uh, but most of them, it was, it was cool. It was... Uh, wasn't wasn't the best that I've seen, and I've seen some pretty funny Family Guy episodes and funny guy, funny guy, Family Guy scenes. So this was all right. But alright, guys, if you guys enjoyed my reactions, let me know down below um, by hitting that like button, please. Let me know in the comment section too if you guys laughed, what made you laugh. Mark, go ahead and um, timestamp it in, in the comment section. And uh, any other videos that you react to, movie trailers, challenges, let's try to do some more of these. Um, yeah, let me know down below too. Put a link in the in the comment section, and I'll try to get to it on my next video. Thanks.